In this part of the movie, we tell you how Anaconda killed the Gary Dixon. In this scene, Paul Cerrone is seen throwing a hook into the water to hunt. After a while, he feels that someone the victim has started. On which he told everyone that no one should move from his place, otherwise it will not be good for him. Everyone looked at him very carefully and obeyed him. After a while he realized that this was not a normal thing, because his pull was too much. And he was so strong that he couldn't handle his hook. He was trying very hard, but he was holding it very hard. After some time, we see that an anaconda which was very big in size got stuck in this hook. It was making a lot of noise. Everyone was shocked and scared because of its coming out. Everyone was shocked. Gary Dixon and everyone else were shocked to see him. Paul Cerrone told Gary Dixon to turn on the light and put it in his eyes so that it would blind him and make him unable to see. Gary Dixon did exactly as he said, and said to Warren Westridge that you should stop the ship. As soon as Gary turned on the light, everyone was shocked to see his size. Paul Cerrone told to leave or you will all be killed. He killed everyone. Gary, you are going just fine. Put it in his eyes so that he can't see it. On the other hand, everyone was telling him to let him go. Don't bother him or we'll all be killed. Danny said, if you're not crazy, let him go. Otherwise, we will all be killed. When he did not obey, he went to stop him with a knife. As he advanced, Anaconda knocked him down with her tail. And her dagger fell into the water. Now he was going out of control. He made an attack on Paul Surin, who fell down. He was about to fall down when the hook attached to Anaconda broke and hit the poacher's neck, which also caused him to fall down. Anaconda was now completely free, and disappeared into the water. Everyone looked around and saw no one. Gary, Terry and Denise were all asking each other where she had gone. After a while when she suddenly he came forward, he threw one time on the monkey poacher, which made him scream. Now he began to watch everyone. If anyone moved, he would make him his victim. Paul Cerrone said not to move. I will control him with a tranquilizer. Terry did not let go of Floris and she ran away in fear. Anaconda moved towards her and broke the glass and went in. Anaconda was right in front of Terry and was about to attack him when Paul Cerrone came and attacked him with a tranquilizer. His attack was successful but Anaconda died due to her pain. He got very angry and started destroying things indiscriminately. When Jerry saw this whole scene, he told to Denise to leave and as she moved towards him, she fell into the water due to the movement of her tail. Gary also jumped into the water to save him and Anaconda also followed them into the water. Harry said get out quickly because they are after you. Denise told the Gary that I am trapped. Gary said that you can wait a little long. After that, Denise got out thanks to Gary. Gary also came out of the water and as he moved forward, the Anaconda attacked him. It was so strong that Gary could not move at all. Danny and Dennis were trying to save him by holding his hand. He was not letting them go. Terry tried to attack him by raising a gun, which was thwarted by Paul Cerrone and did not fire. He said that he was dead. There was no point in firing at him now. After that, he took him with him. I take it and everyone starts screaming. Denise screams a lot. And so Anaconda takes Gary away in front of their friends and they did not nothing. And here the scene ends.